All right, today I'm gonna change out this knot. So I've got a pot of water, you can see, and the water's only up to the base or the top of this spacer. You don't want your handle sitting directly on the bottom of the pot where it gets almost direct heat from the burner because it might crack it. So it's a little tight, but I don't care if it smushes that knot because that knot's coming out anyways. <clears throat> we're going to put the burner on high and steam her up and we're going to come back and after it starts boiling and we're going to let it boil for 20 minutes because I've seen everybody do well, well we'll steam it for five minutes and they try to pull the knot can't pull the knot steam it for 10 minutes can't pull the knot so we'll just go and they always end up going like 20 minutes before they can pull the knot so we're just going to go the full 20 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll remove the knot so see you in 20 minutes while we're waiting I'll just show you this came in the mail yesterday it's not too big It's just a, a gem case I picked up. I was looking for a case. I have one um, um, valet razor that doesn't have a case. And this one was like $11 plus shipping. And it was like 15 bucks for shipping and tax. So just a little, it's really nice inside polish up the outside make it look good but yeah I just wanted a case for it so I just picked that up for cheap didn't matter to me that it was a gem and I'm putting a ballet in it doesn't matter all right now we'll wait for the uh, water to start boiling so I can set my timer for 20 minutes and I'll be back then all right it's been 20 minutes got our mitts on do not do this without mitts You know what? It's still not coming off. It's been 20 minutes. It's not even close to being loose. Okay. So. We'll let it boil some more. We'll give it 10 more minutes. Back then. Alright, we're back. It's been 10 minutes again. So we'll see where we're at. I'm almost out of water in the pot. Oh, look at that. Thought I smelled something. There we go. Came right out. See? So, I am out of water in the pot. Okay. I'm going to have to scrape that with a razor blade later and get that out of there because it's it's crusty it's too hard I was going to use a toothpick but I can't it won't, it won't take it out but took 30 minutes where the hell's the camera on this one there we go took 30 minutes and we'll clean that up with a with a Dremel tool, I guess. I'll put the little grind, grinder wheel in the Dremel and clean that out. That'll work. All right. Back for the gluing. We'll come back for the gluing. Excuse me. All right. I can't see what I'm doing here in the screen. I'm hoping I, I'm holding in front of the camera, so I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. I got my JB Weld epoxy, and it's got a special tip on it that mixes it as it proceeds down the tip. I've already cleaned this out, used a grinding wheel on a Dremel, rinsed it out with al rubbing alcohol. 
So we're just going to put a coat down here on the bottom. Put some along the lip right here. This sets in five minutes, cures in one hour, and that should do it. This is a, not a bad handle. This handle, I, it was a $10 brush that I bought. Um, the handle on it's fine. The, the knot had that big glue blotch right in the middle of it of the synthetic hairs and it messed it up but this is a nice heavy handle it's got good grip because of this lip I like the handle I just couldn't use it because the brush was shit so we removed the knot we got a new knot in there and within an hour I'll have it all cured to go but I'll let it sit for a full day and then I'll soak the knot and clean it alright that's it Changed out or not. Have a good one all.